Hi there, this is Paul Thompson from Spitfire Audio. I'm going to show you quickly how to update your existing Spitfire Percussion Redux library. Um, it's now Spitfire Percussion version 5, so we've gone beyond the Redux. Um, if you download straight into your percussion library, um, then the first thing to do before you download your update is to rename your existing instruments folder to Legacy. And that way, what will happen is that Downloader will just populate the existing samples folder and all of add the extra bits and pieces that you need, and it'll create a new instruments folder. If you have downloaded onto a separate machine, for example, if your main rig isn't connected to the net, then you'll have something that looks like this, and this will be inside a Spitfire percussion library folder. Um, so inside there, you'll see documentation, info, instruments, samples there'll be a few extra samples here and the info nkx we don't need to worry about that because we already have that here so the first thing to do rename your instruments folder to something like legacy and then you need to don't delete the old uis because you will need those um, for backward compatibility so just leave those in place any kind of nkr that you've got in there just leave it in place there's no problem there now you'll see that the old um, information folders and documentation folders, they can be overwritten. Um, I'm just going to delete those, move those to the trash. No problem about that. Now the things that we need to copy over then are documentation, info and instruments. We're going to also copy the new Kickstart NKR. That's your new script folder, folder um, or that appears as a file in the browser. And then once you've got all of that stuff over here, I'll just collapse these ones here. You'll see that we need to copy over the only remaining thing being the samples, the new samples that you've got here. Now, don't just drag your samples folder over because you will delete your existing samples. So open up your samples folder and drag the new stuff into there. And then that is basically you updated. So if we just go back up a level here, we'll see that we've got our new samples that we just put inside there. We've got the uh, Spitfire Percussion Info NKX is still there. Our old scripts are still there, however many old scripts you've got there. Our legacy instruments, just in case you want to refer back to those. Our new instruments here, our new info and documentation here as well. And that's it. Really simple. So enjoy using your new version 5 of Spitfire Percussion. Thanks very much for watching. See you on the next one.